First of all, you need to create an account and get access to the video editor. You can see the different options. I'll use my Google account. You can use Clipchamp in your browser or download an app from official site. It's also available in Microsoft Store. But you should know that the desktop app only works if you have internet connection just like in the browser. In the section Your Videos, you can see all the projects that have been previously created. If you are a new user, it will be empty. And before I create the project, I will show you how you can change the language of the application in the settings. After that, I can go back to the main page and create a new project. To start creating our video, we need to import resources. You can add files from your computer or from these services. I'll drag and drop video file from my device. Now it's ready to be added to the timeline. There are a few options on the up left corner of the timeline. AutoCut can be used to improve the voiceover if you have awkward pauses or filler words in your video. You can also create some draft video with Copilot. If you want to split video, put timeline pointer to the place you want and click on scissors. Now your video divided into two parts. Use undo button if you want to undo previous actions and you can duplicate selected objects. Here is the part of the video I just created. Click right mouse button and select delete to remove unnecessary objects. More options are available in the right sidebar. You can customize the gradual appearance and disappearance of the object and duration of this effect with fading options. I'll turn off the fading and go to the filters tab. You can see that some options are marked with a yellow diamond. This means that they are for premium users. The rest can be used for free. For example, I'll select Winter Filter. You can see how the colors of the video have changed. You can change the intensity of each filter. Here are effects. I'll choose Pulse, for example. You can change different parameters of the effects you added. Here are Speed and Amount sliders, and you can disable Loop option if you don't want the effect to be repeated. If I increase Amount Value, Zoom gets deeper. OK, and now I'll turn off Loop option. And another effect I'll show you is Vaporwave. You can see that this effect has different set of adjustable parameters. Effect intensity controls amount of gitch effect. Also, you can change amount of grain and intensity of color change. And now I'll show you retro graphics effect that adds pixelation. You can change pixel size and color scheme. In this case, video has too many small details, so this effect makes video to blurry. And now adjust colors tab. Okay, I'll disable vapor wave effect first. You can see pretty common options. With exposure setting, you can make image brighter or darker, contrast and saturation. Temperature adds more hot colors like yellow and orange or cold blue colors. Transparency allows you to control opacity of the selected object. In this case, video makes darker when I make video more transparent because the default background is black. Blend mode option may be familiar to you if you used Photoshop or other similar image editors. I'll show you an example how it works. I added image with white background and black letters. I'll put this image over my video. First of all, you will see how it looks with lower opacity value. And then I'll enable one of the blending options. For example, darken and multiply make transparent light colors, so white background disappeared. Lighten and screen make dark colors transparent. In this case, black letters disappeared. Blending modes can be used instead of chroma key or just for creating interesting effect. You can speed up or slow down your video. Be careful when using slowing down option because slowed down video won't be as smooth as original one. The next thing I want to show you is content library. Here are filters for audio and visual content. You can decide if you want to see premium content by clicking on this diamond. You can use search to find some content by describing it. First of all, you can add free stock music to your videos. It is arranged by mood, genre, etc. You can add any fo these free tracks and edit them as an audio. Shapes and annotations are animated overlays. Okay, I'll choose this one. This shape appears with kind of hand-drawn animation. Here are lots of different variations of such shapes. And of course videos. You can find here different background videos, overlays, subscribe panels, etc. For example, collection of beach and ocean videos. 
Here is set of different animated stickers, emojis, and so on. Animated backgrounds. Still images, frames, sound effects, and overlays with already transparent background. I'll add one of them to my video. Looks pretty cool. And you can use GIFs from Giphy. In the Templates tab, you can find pre-made editable videos with already added music, text, etc. for different purposes. I'll add this one. This template consists of several videos, background music, and text. Any of these elements can be edited, removed, or replaced. Text, for example, I click on the text bar on the timeline so I can edit it. Audio track is also separate from other content so I can move it, trim, speed up, etc. And now I'm going to show you how to add text. First of all, I'll add plain text to my video. After you put text in the right place of the timeline, you can replace sample text with your own. Select part of text you need to edit. Now you can change its color. Select another font. Change text size. Make it bold or italic. Set text alignment. Position on the screen and rotate. More options you can find in the right sidebar. On the top you can see the same adjustments set, but here are also advanced settings. Line height is for cases when you have more than one line of text. Letter spacing controls distance between letters. Outline and shadow, you can change width and color. Outline will become visible when I unselect text. Okay, I'll change the font. In this case the outline is a little bit ugly, but you can see how it works. The shadow overlays the outline, not like in Photoshop for example. You can change distance, direction of the shadow, and amount of blur. Of course you can add fading effect, so text will appear and disappear gradually. And here are lots of different effect you can apply to your text. I'll use this diffusion effect. Okay, it's a little bit too much, so the text isn't recognizable. Here are also very useful options like typewriter. I'll delete previous text area. Okay, I'll leave default text and choose font color will be white. Here is how it works, but now my text contained only one word. I want to make my text longer. Text doesn't fit on the screen, so if you have such problem too, you can make text size smaller or divide text into few lines. Another useful option here is timer. I'll place my timer to the center of the screen. Choose another font. Also, I'll change the color of timer background and make it less transparent. The timer is countdown by default. Enable this checkbox if you want it to count up. Also, you can decide if you want to show minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. Here is how it looks. And now transitions. First, I have to split my video. And then I'll add some transition. We can change duration of all of these transitions. Okay, little bit longer. Brand kit is for premium users only. It's kind of preset with fonts, colors, and other elements you want to use in every video without need to choose and gather all of this together all the time. You can easily replace objects you already added to the timeline. The effects from previous video will be applied to the new one. Also, you can group objects on the timeline, so by clicking on one object of this group, you'll automatically select all group. In cases when you have a lot of different elements on the timeline and a lot of gaps between them, you can delete gaps one by one, or remove all existing gaps at once. Clipchamp has chroma key option, so I'll add video with green screen from content library. I'll put this video over my videos I previously added. You have to go to effects tab to find chroma key option. Here is it. Screen threshold controls the intensity of the effect, and you can choose color you want to remove. It must match the color of the screen in the video. You can see that if I choose red or blue color, the wings of the butterflies of the corresponding colors become transparent. And now the green background completely disappeared. I'm going to add video with sound. You can hear the noise of the landing plane. You can mute audio in this video using this button. 
If you want to edit, cut parts of the audio from this clip or save audio separately from the video, you can detach audio track. Sound from this video automatically saved as file, and it appeared on the timeline. So, for example, I can delete the original video and replace it with other visuals. And now I'll import video with voiceover. So, you'll see how to use automatic transcription. You can select language and enable offensive language filter. Here is all the recognized text from my video. You can download captions as an .srt file. Almost per hands without the use of additional special tools, detailed realistic faces, perfectly generated text in the image. Here you can see auto captions. You can edit them as text. I'll select another font, for example, and color. Changes will be applied to all captions, so you don't have to select some part of text. And now I'll go to record and create tab. You can record screen and camera or separately screen, camera or audio. All the options are pretty simple to use. I'll show you how to record screen as an example. Here you can choose microphone or disable it. And you can use your speech analyzer if you want to automatically remove awkward pauses, filler words, change pitch, etc. Press red button to start recording. You have to decide if you want to record particular window or entire screen. I want to record Chrome browser window only. Okay, I'll search for something, and I'll go back to finish recording. You can save this recording or make another try. This recording is in my media tab among other files I previously added, and it's available for editing like any other video. And now camera. You can choose camera and other settings are similar to screen recorder. Here you can find text to speech option. It adds object to the timeline that will be turned into audio track. On the right sidebar, you can see list of languages you can use, available voices and text area to enter text you want to convert into voiceover. And advanced options include emotion if it's available for particular voice, pitch and pace that controls speed. I'll enter some short text. Preview button allows you to hear the voiceover without rendering audio track. Hello, this is AI generated voice. Okay, increase pace. Hello, this is AI generated voice. Change emotion to empathetic. Hello, this is AI generated voice. Lower pitch. Hello, this is AI generated voice. If you're happy with it, you can press save and the voiceover will be added to the timeline and you will be able to move and edit T. Hello, this is AI generated voice. You can disable auto captions here. I'll add some video to the timeline and show you how to set aspect ratio. If you have horizontal video but vertical aspect ratio, you can manually stretch video or crop it. Or you can use this button to make it fit selected dimensions. Here are additional options. You can rotate your video in different ways. Mirror video. And here is picture and picture option that makes clips smaller and places it in defined location of the screen. If you want to see all the keyboard shortcuts of Clipchamp, click on this menu and here is the list. And finally, I export my video. You can select video quality or if you can't, you can export GIF, but it's length limited by 15 seconds. Video can be exported as MP for file only, and there are no other import settings. Rendering process will take some time. You can monitor exporting progress while using other apps. Just click on mini export tracker and this small window will be visible if you open some other window. Video saved to download folder. Thanks for watching. Check my other tutorials too.